Today we're going to be digging into a TTR 50 motorcycle. We've got transmission problems with this motorcycle, so we're going to tear it down, get into the bottom end, figure out what's going on with that um, motor before we rebuild it. Pull the cylinder head off here. We've adjusted the valves in a separate video. Uh, we've got uh, uh, brass washers right here, and they. Uh, a lot of times you like to replace those. If you don't replace them, you definitely like to um, make sure these this head is torqued on here. We got our intake manifold bolts here, two uh, Allen bolts. And then we'll flip this motor to the other side and we'll pull the cam chain sprocket as well as the cam chain off. We've got our tensioner as well on this side. Eight millimeters to pull that cam chain sp sprocket cover off of there. got a rubber o-ring that seals that up really good there making it sometimes a little challenging to come off of there um, again our allen bolts on this side for our cam chain tensioner. now when we're going back together with this motor we will take this 10 millimeter center bolt loose but to just take this apart right now at this time I like to just take these allens do a little bit at a time. Go cam chain tension will not go in unless this is reset here, which is why we pull this pin there. Taking the cam chain sprocket off now, we've got the tensioner out, so our cam chain has some uh, is loose. We can take our 17 millimeter, spin that sprocket bolt off of there. I like to take a pick or a screwdriver and just work that sprocket out. You can use a couple different ones or you can use a pick with an angle. So then I take and I drop it down and all we're trying to do right now is give us room to get our cylinder head off. We've got eight millimeter coming down alongside this head. That will have to be pulled before that head comes off of there. And I believe that is it for bolts. And that's actually going to pull the cylinder off as well. I'm going to take a rubber mallet here and tap up and try to separate these just so you can see the, see the difference there. Right, eight millimeter bolts here. Cam chain there. Pull the cam chain. Just pull this Allen bolt here. That will allow you to pull the whole cam chain out. We've got two tiny little valves there. We've got our intake on this side exhaust on this side. Pull the cylinder then, like I said, it's already started to come out, but we'll take this cam chain, uh, sprocket off, and then we've got a guide that'll come out as well at this time. Cylinder head gasket is here. Obviously you want to replace this every time you pull this cylinder head. These are a one-time use only. I'm just going to go ahead and pull this cylinder now too cylinder on this machine. The bike ran great, just had transmission problems. So that's a cylinder, extremely small. Check it for scoring, check it for out around. Any kind of damage at all, you'll want to um, hone that cylinder. To pull your piston off now, take a small pick. I like to use an L shape and get in behind the circlip now and just pry in that groove to try to pull that circlip off of there. I like to put my thumb in behind there, keep that pin from going anywhere. Take that pin now, that's, that's as small as that circlip is there. And now we can take and pull that pin out. And a lot of times, I've got pliers that'll pull a pin out pretty well, but sometimes you take a small pair of pliers, shove it a little bit farther, and then you can get a hold of it. You wanna make sure you don't damage this pin as you want it to move freely, but that's your tiny little uh, piston there. Now to get it back on there, same thing but in reverse. Take I take that groove, set it in there like that, and then I take my pick or a small screwdriver then use it to push, oh, popped out of there, but use it to push it in and set it into place there. That's the piston on that. 
This guide here will pull out when we get farther down into the motor.